How to delete negative Google reviews step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I will be discussing how you can actually remove negative reviews, whether or not you can actually do that, the process and whether you should be doing this or not. So let's jump right in. Now, Google reviews cannot directly be deleted. If someone leaves you a bad review, you cannot directly delete that. The reason for this is because obviously Google wants to know whether or not your place of business is complying with the greatest standards and Google wants people to be able to see an honest review. And for that purpose, a business owner cannot delete reviews off of Google. However, there are things that can be done. Now, if you actually receive a review, and I'll show you guys an example. This is an example business listing, and I left a bad review by myself. So if you take a look over here, this is the review section. I have a review over here. And what I can do is that if I log in via a different account, I will be able to, you know, flag this review. And I will be able to report this review as, you know, a unnecessarily bad review. I'll leave a bad review with my other account over here. I'll just copy this, go into my separate account, and I'll just open that over here. Jane's Lash Studio, like this. And once I do that, you will see I can click on edit your review and upload my own review as well. So once someone leaves a bad review, let's say I have a one star review, or I'll just add awful place like this, and then I'll click on post. Once I click on post, my review will be posted. And now if the owner goes ahead and sees it, there will be a bad review. Now, there are a few reasons where it's justified to appeal a review and a few reasons where it's not gonna be justified. Now, first off, if you click on read reviews and you see a review like this, what you can do is you can click on this icon over here and you can report the review. There are certain predisposed reasons that you can select from. Either it is off topic, it is spam, there is conflict of interest, which means that the other person reviewing has a benefit by trying to degrade your business. It includes profanity, it is bullying, discriminatory or hate speech, or personal information is being leaked. If all of these do not apply to this particular review, then you can go into the support and help center, but truly, if none of these reasons are applicable to the review and the person is just sharing a bad experience that they had with your business, I don't recommend trying to get the review removed. The reason for that is, is because if you try to get it removed and it was just a person's bad experience at your business, then you're going to have a really bad look. And not only will you have a bad look, but you also are going to be trying to manipulate the appearance of your business especially if you have like a four-star business or a five-star business and there are a couple of bad reviews that people have left that just makes your place of business seem realistic it makes it seem like okay this is an actual place of business where most people have a good time maybe there are a few bad experiences but most people are having a good time so I would recommend to keep any bad reviews that are justified because if someone had a bad experience, they had a bad experience. Whether they are drawing it out to more extreme conclusions is up to their personal perceptions. But if you try to get a review removed and it just doesn't get removed, that just leaves a bad taste in the reviewer's mouth. What I do recommend whenever you receive a bad review, which is justified, go ahead and click on reply and publicly reply as the owner. And after that, you're going to add a really courteous message on what the person experienced, whether they can come back again and get a better experience. Hey, so sorry to hear this happened or hear you had a bad experience at our lounge please visit again and please visit again and receive our 
up-to-date services and you can address any concerns that they have listed in the review so if someone wrote that they had an awful customer service experience or they had to wait for an hour you know you can just validate their concerns and tell them how they can visit again and you can even provide them with a discount or provide them with some type of additional service or product so the person feels more inclined to update their review because either you can get the review deleted or you can get the customer to actually update their review and if a customer updates their review then you won't have to worry about getting their review deleted it will be updated and you can actually have a uh, you know customer write about how you actually do improve any customer concerns so send out a courteous reply if not, if you feel like the review is totally unjustified, click on this icon and then mark the reason why it's unjustified. So I want to say it's off topic and then I can click on send report. Once you click on send report, you can open up your mailbox and in your mailbox, you are going to see a message. So thanks for flagging potential policy or legal violations currently it is under the following uh, under the following abuse category spam or unwanted content and after that you are going to receive any updates about your flagging request or about your approval request so whether or not google decides to remove that review or keep that review that is in the hands of google and it will then update you upon any progress but for most situations, if the review seems to be from an actual person sharing their personal opinion or experience, then Google does not remove reviews. However, if it includes profanity, even if it is a justified review, if it includes profanity or disturbed language, then Google mostly does remove those reviews. Now, one thing or one strategy that you can always um do to improve your rating on google is to ask visiting customers that you can visually see are having a good experience at your business you can hand them your phone or hand them a simple tool that can help them in reviewing on google so they can just log in and review on google or provide like a five percent discount or a freebie like even if it's a tiny freebie customers are still incentivized to then review on google and then you will have more positive reviews on your google business listing so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe